another it's another Tuesday here at Earl's, and that must mean it's time for the newest edition of the Coach Harry Show here live on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. Oh, busy area indeed, but we got Brennan Riley, the head coach, Steve Harrison, as well as Yuri Pastuka joining us here tonight. Yeah. What's up, Yuri? Hey, how are you? Hey, oh, <laughs> he got a bigger hat. Oh, no, you can come on more often. <laughs> Um, but guys, thanks for joining us again here, uh, Coach. Great to have you along as always, Yuri. Great to have you here for the uh, first time. You done one of these before, or is this uh, your first? Time? I did one last year. I'm pretty one sure. Last year, yeah. yeah. Uh, there we go. But uh, coming in, uh, good vibes after a, a six-point weekend uh, last weekend there against the uh, Baton Rouge Idaho on Friday, and then you picked up uh, another three points against a team that had a little bit of thorn in your side, the Mississippi Sea Wolves. Pick up a uh, six-two. Dominant victory once again there on Saturday. Yeah, no, it was a, a very good weekend. I, I, I think we uh, um, uh, we challenged the boys. Uh, we had great talks during the week, and and, uh, and as I said, I just I, I like the whole atmosphere of the way we play. Uh, the the week, the preparation to get up to last weekend, and uh, I, I thought the two games that would, uh, that we played. Uh, in general, we were really good. Uh, uh, from my standpoint, uh, we still can improve, I think, and, and uh, uh, finish games off a little bit better, uh, and also maybe not have a lull uh, as we did in the, in the first game. So, uh, but overall, in general, if you, if you look at the weekend, uh, pretty pleased. Uh, uh, some guys had really good weekends, and uh, some other guys stood up. And uh, as I said, from my standpoint, uh, the, the, what I was trying to accomplish and, 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 and the team-wise. I think we're going in the right direction. Gary, pretty good weekend for you. Go on Friday, go on Saturday. What do you think of the weekend? Uh, I think it was a pretty good weekend. Uh, both games we kind of dominated. There was, of course, a little bit of mistakes, but I mean, overcome it was a pretty good weekend. Number. Two goals for the big guy. He didn't score a whole lot. He gives legs to dish the puck off, but uh, uh, his line there played very well. And, uh, and uh, uh, we're fortunate enough now that we got three lines that are rolling a little bit, and, and he's a big part of our team, uh, uh, not just, uh, as I said, uh, uh, on the ice, but off the ice. And uh, as I said, that line played really well, and uh, that, that, that helps us a lot. I and mean, it's really worked out here, especially as of late. I mean, your team's won now seven of eight or six of seven, seven of eight, and on a little bit of a roll now. And now uh, you get another crack at uh, this Baton Rouge team. That was a, a new look, first look uh, for them last weekend. But now a uh, busy weekend coming up here in Baton Rouge. Yeah, we got four games. Uh, we leave tomorrow night and a uh, long road trip down on the on the, on the, on the bus. And uh, uh, But we got three games there, and, and, and it's going to be a challenge for us. We, we, we've got to make sure that we're prepared. And uh, uh, they've changed coaches as we talked last week. And... Uh, they won a game on, uh, I think they won the next night after we played them. Uh, they lost on the Sunday, but uh, uh, they're going to work hard. And, and, and now they're at home, and apparently they're supposed to have good crowds. So uh, it's going to be a challenge for us. And, and, and I know we know how they're going to play. It's a matter of how we're going to come out and play. And, and as I said, uh, we took a step last week in the, in the right direction. Hopefully we can continue. Apparently Thursday is going to be their first home game since... In almost two months. Uh, almost two in months. Almost yeah. two months. Yeah. I mean, but uh, it's a big arena. You you play there last year. I know that when you yes. played. Yes, I think we had a showcase game last yeah. year there. Yeah. yeah. What, what, what was it like there? The arena was beautiful. They weren't really prepared for like hockey season there at that time yet, but it was the ring was pretty. So. So I'm excited to get down there. Yeah. And it's a big rink course. apparently, and and uh, you know the facility is really nice and. Uh, uh, you know, it's the first year team, a little like Whitfield, and, and, and it's going to take some time to get going. And uh, as I said, they've made some changes, and, and uh, as I said, I, they're, they're going to be ready on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and so we're going to have to make sure uh, we're ready. It's been a little bit since a 3-3 uh, three and three as well, so uh, going to well, have to be ready to That's go. the other challenge for us. We haven't played 3-3, three and three, and some guys are, you know, getting a little older, and uh, we're going to have to, uh, you know, take care of them. And uh, But, no, I'm, I, I'm excited. Uh, it's always good to get uh, – uh, we love playing at home. It's nice to get on the road sometimes, and, and uh, I, I'm, the, the best thing about our team is is I don't really know if we play any better on the road at home. I think we play the same, and so uh, uh, I, I think with the crowd at home, we maybe get a little extra juice, but we like the road too. I like the road indeed. Coming up, it will be at 8.30 p.m. puck drop Eastern time there at the Raising Canes River Center on, on Thursday and Friday, then on Saturday it will be coming up uh, 8 p.m. Eastern 8 time there on Saturday. So we're just getting started, though, here on the Coach Harry Show, live here from Earl's. If you're in the area, make your way down here. Great crowd on hand. Great coalition of Thunderbirds fans as well. Just got underway here on the Coach Harry Show. We're back with more after this on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB.
Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill, relax by our pool and cabana, and gear up at the Pro Shop while sharpening your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18 hall Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. You can find out more at maplechasecc.com. That's maplechasecc.com. For over 85 years, Mustin and Crutchfield has been more than just a local market. We've been a proud part of North Carolina's heritage. When our founders started in 1938, they sourced meats from local farmers and groceries from small companies. Finding a way to stay competitive in this market has been a challenge through the years. Luckily, there are a lot of entrepreneurs, and now we have close to 50 local vendors that we feature. We're proud to partner with the Carolina Thunderbirds as a local sponsor, celebrating community values both on and off the ice. Mustin and Crutchfield, your hometown local grocer. Here at Comtech, we think it shouldn't cost a fortune to have peace of mind. That's why we bring you the latest in smart home protection and home monitoring at prices you can afford. Already paying for home monitoring? We can beat it. Give us a call today or visit us at ctpower.com. That's ctpower.com. Comtech, your one stop for security, fire, cameras, and more. Once upon a time, not so far away, two heroes found the secret to a perfect game day. They had heard of a baker, one with big heart. They were thrilled he had the answer. Ava's Cupcakes is where he's set to start. From cakes to cookies, cupcakes, and more, we've got flavors that'll score and score. So the Thunderbirds cheered, ready to tell all. Ava's Cupcakes is the sweetest. Bakery to call. Back here live Back. on the Coach Harry Show. A little, little, uh, little feedback coming through here to start things off here in segment two. But, uh, We're okay now, yeah, I think. We're good now. Okay. Yeah, but Fred Riley, the head coach, Steve Harrison, as well as Yuri Pastuka here. And, Coach, a uh, good weekend for you there. Um, starting there on Friday, game one. Uh, first time you're going to see Baton Rouge. They have made some uh, major, major changes there. Uh, they, uh, they ended up cutting six guys, picked up six guys. How do they really change things for you? Um, well, you, you know, they, 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 they're a new, a new team, as we said earlier. Uh, they're trying to find their way. Uh, they struggled early on. They made a change in the coaching situation. Um, now they're, and, then, and now they're, they've made another change, unfortunately. But uh, I, I think they're going in the right direction. Uh, the GM there, I've talked to him a couple times. And uh, they're, they're trying to, you know, get their feet wet or, you know, plant it on the ground and, and, and build the house. And uh, I think they got the guy in there now. Actually, he played there here, Everett here. And uh, uh, I'm not sure. I, I, I don't know him as a person or a coach. But uh, apparently he's, he's the guy that maybe can help them. And uh, hopefully he is. And... Uh, uh, he's made some changes, and he's trying to, you know, weed some guys out. Uh, I mean, uh, the, the wholesale change he made, uh, I'm not really sure, but uh, uh, they worked hard the other night against us, uh, and as I said, so uh, uh, they're, they're coming, uh, and, and we're going to have to be prepared. Uh, those guys are, are, are preparing for next season, and, and they want to show the coach that they can play there. And or, or play audition for other coaches. So uh, they're, they're going to come and play, especially at home. They haven't been at home for, as you say, almost two months. So uh, we, we, we miss home and we haven't been home for a week. So I can imagine how they are after uh, after uh, two months. And for you, Yuri, we'll get to uh, we'll get to your goal here in just a little bit. But uh, in that first period, it started with uh, started with your line with Jan picking up a, uh, a goal there early on. And, and you, you get an early goal in a game. What does that do for you guys mentally uh, out there on the ice? It's definitely give us a different look on the game. You know, little gets the stress off of, of us, and uh, we're just trying to don't change the system of the game what we play we always trying to pressure them don't give up don't give them an inch and that's how we try to roll. they bring a lot of momentum they, they hold on to the puck uh, 
uh, uh, sometimes a little too long for someone's liking, but but that's the type of style that they play, and, and uh, uh, they, they, they create a lot of havoc for other teams because the way they hold on to the puck. So uh, they, they came out, actually, we came out smoking on, uh, on Friday night, and uh, all three lines I liked, and... Uh, their line uh, jumped on and uh, got his goal. And got it going, and then a few minutes later, Gus Ford is able to double the lead. He's come back, and, uh, you know, he, he didn't score there in that first game on that Friday in, uh, in Biloxi, but since then, he, he's really just picked up where he left off before he went to uh, Peoria. Well, he, he's a goal scorer. We've talked about it many times, and uh, uh, that just gives us, uh, as I said, our depth right now is, is really good, and uh, uh, we're not sure about one situation, but uh, still our depth is is what I like. Uh, you, you, you got uh, the, the, the I, I call it the check line. We might have to get a new phrase now a little bit, but um, um, and and forties line there, and, and as I said, and, and with boots and, and Schnappy and Keeley there, uh, our depth is, is I can put somebody over the boards and we're in good shape. So uh, as I said, that we created they created a lot of havoc the other day, and uh, as I said, the both lines got things going. So you end up getting a two nothing lead there early on. What does that change anything? For you, are you guys just going out there looking for another one just like that? Well, when you dominate the team at the start of the game, and, and I, 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 we knew we we wanted to push them against the wall right away, and uh, we did. And, and uh, as I said, at the end of the first period, I was happy. Like we 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 put the pedal to the metal and pushed them back, and uh, uh, we got ourselves in a position where, uh, uh, as the game progresses, you 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 want to get to. And we we're right there after the first period, in command, and uh, I'm playing well. And towards that end of the first period. Dawson ended up being able to make it a 3 nothing game. It looked like it was a turnover. And it was a turnover. Gus walked in, dropped it off for him, and a, and a good shot from the high slot there. Yeah, they made a mistake, and, and we capitalized on it. But a, a lot of that has to do with it, with the momentum that we had. And uh, uh, they turned the puck over. We had a couple turn. They we turned. Uh, they turned it over with this line here, and, and even with the other line. And uh, as I said, we they capitalized on it, and uh, we, we really set ourselves up for uh, the rest of the game. And for the rest of the game, you go into that locker room in the first intermission. What do you say to your team? You got a three nothing lead, dominating there over the first 20 minutes. What do you say to your team in that situation? Well, there's there's a couple words I said. We don't change, and and then. You know, he's probably sick and tired of it, but we, 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 we've heard it a lot. and uh, We wanted to come out with the same uh, zest, the, the, the same enthusiasm, and, and the same drive that we had in the first period. And uh, uh, I, I don't know if we came out that way the second period. I thought we played well. It just seemed like we didn't come out uh, instead of... Uh, from one to ten, instead of coming out as a ten, I think we came out maybe as a seven, and 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 played well. Just didn't get that extra zest there, and uh, I didn't mind the second period, but we didn't uh, dominate the way we should have. Uh, and then in that second period, though, it ends up being Josh Kavlinger. He on a shot from Clay, uh, you know, coming off of a faceoff. It was a good setup. You know, he crashed the net, and he was able to get another one of those dirty goals that we've seen him get a few times here this year. Yeah, just another great effort, and uh, you know, we pushed the puck up and. Uh, as I said, we, we, we capitalized on, on, on a mistake and, and, uh, and got lucky. And you go to the third, you got a 4 nothing lead, you're in control, and, uh, you know, you dominate them there once again. You put up four goals in that third period year. You got the you got the scoring started, and it was a turnover, and next thing you know, you're in two-on-one with Copes. What did you see there? Uh, I just saw the turnover when the Copes get the puck, and we went to me and him, we went to two-on-one, and he's a really skilled player, so he bait the defenseman. Oh no, that he's gonna shoot and he passed me the puck and I had literally empty net so it wasn't really hard for me to now he told me when he came back to the bench the goalie was over and he went and he shot it high and he knew where it was going but uh, <laughs> no no but the, the two great guys and, and, and th that's the thing that I like about our team we, we got guys that like this and uh, if they don't take the shot from Copes, they pass it over, and, and, and he can put it in the net. So uh, compliment to both guys uh, to making a great play. And then as that period continue to roll along, it ends up being Gus getting his second. And then Gordon Whalen, who was someone that you signed late last week, uh, you gave him you gave him an opportunity there on Friday night. He ended up getting an assist uh, there on a, on a shot from the point. Yeah. You know, I, I didn't see Schnapp 
tip it. I thought it was him. He right. went first in line. But uh, but what did you see from him? What have you seen from him in practice here over the first, you know, not even a week that, that he's been on the team? Well, he can skate. I, I, you know, he can handle the puck. And uh, uh, I, I think he's learning the, the pro game. Uh, it, it, there's an adjustment time. And, and we're going to have an adjustment time coming this week too. But uh, he, he, can, he can move the puck and he can skate. And... Uh, uh, he's uh, very enthusiastic and wants to learn and listens. And uh, as I said, when you can skate and move the puck like he can, uh, you can get yourself out of a, of a lot of jams. And uh, as I said, there's going to be an adjustment time this week here a little bit for him again. But uh, I like what I saw of him so far, and uh, uh, hopefully he continues to grow. So you guys close out an 8 nothing victory, your second shutout of the season. Um, Greg Hussey, he got the start in net that night. Um, Yuri, you played with him last year. You played with Greg. And Coach, you brought him in here just a few weeks ago, but uh, he comes in against his former team as well, picks up a 21-save shutout, and, and really just did his job there between the pipes. Well, I, I, I think he, he, he made the uh, probably three or four saves when he had to. Uh, I, I don't know if he was overly pressured, uh, but, but when he made the saves, uh, I, I think in the second period there, we had... Uh, uh, they have a couple guys with speed, and, I, and, and it didn't look like a hard shot, but when a guy's coming down with speed, and we talk about every time he takes a step, it changes the, the, uh, uh, the angle on it, and, and he made a couple saves there, uh, as I said, in the second period that, uh, that kind of keep us uh, even keel. So uh, overall, good, period, good game for him, and uh, I know he was a little nervous coming back after being uh, you know, here last year and then not making the team at the start. So. Uh, he, he did a good job for us. Yuri, when you get into a game like that where it's 8-0 and it ends up being that, but, you know, you guys know that you're rolling, you're cruising. You find the back of the net there, there early in that third. Are you just looking for another one now, or are you trying to find uh, – are you just trying to continue to keep playing? Well, at that point, like, you're trying to keep the system, what coach tells you, and just keep the foot on the pedal, on the gas, and uh, put in the net as much as you possible can, so – it worked out. That, that, it's a great answer, and I, I think I heard that again on Saturday night after the game. That, uh, that when, when we get in those situations, uh, good teams finish it off. And, and I, I walked in the dressing room and I said, uh, I asked for a couple of numbers, and the one number was zero because they didn't score any goals, and, and uh, uh, the other number was three uh, or four. I think they had four shots, and so we played really well defensively. But the other number that I, I talked about is, is when we play that way, we're going to score goals, and we scored four goals. And, and a lot of times, you know, you ask that question, when he scored a goal, was he, was he hoping for another one? They're hoping for another one, but you play the system, you're going to get more opportunities. When you cheat the system, uh, you don't get as many opportunities. So uh, the, the, the coach was pretty happy on Friday night after the game, the way we finished it off. Finished it off, picking up three points with the 8 nothing shutout victory there over the Baton Rouge Zydeco. Thunderbirds in Baton Rouge coming up here this weekend at 3-3 three and three with the uh, one of the newest teams there in the FPHL. We pick up the three points there on Friday. You got another three points on Saturday there against Mississippi. We'll get to that on the other side of this timeout. We're here live at Earl's here in Winston-Salem. Great crowd on hand as always. We got more to come here on the Coach Harry Show. We're back after this on Thunderbirds TV and on WT. I want Huey to live a long, happy life. I give him supplements to take care of his joints. He's on preventatives to keep the fleas and ticks away. It's the same with my Subaru Outback. He takes care of us every day, and then we go on adventures. We get our Outback serviced by the experts at Flow Subaru of Winston-Salem. I love my Subaru, and I know it will live a long and happy life if I treat it right, just like Huey. Winston Salem. Jennifer Sapp, your trusted realtor and broker since 1997, puts the real in realtor, and she's proud to be a sponsor of your Carolina Thunderbirds. As a top producer and your go to realtor for all your real estate needs, Jennifer Sapp is ready to help you score your dream home goal. Call Jennifer at 336 782 3148 or visit her at jennifersapp.allenton.com. Welcome to Martinsville. Martinsville isn't your average everyday racetrack. Far from it. It's truly one of a kind. The speed, the shape, the history, the hospitality, heck, even the hot dogs. A one of a kind weekend at the short track of NASCAR with trucks on Friday, Xfinity on Saturday, and Cup Series on Sunday. 
It's one event too amazing to miss. NASCAR Weekend at Martinsville Speedway. Get your tickets now at martinsvillespeedway.com. Hey there, Triad Thunderbirds fans. Introducing Tee It Up Indoors, your ultimate golfing destination in Greensboro. With our cutting-edge golf simulators, you can tee off on world-class courses, no matter the weather. We're not just a golf facility. We're your partner in having a fantastic time. From golf lessons to corporate events, we've got it all covered. Plus, we even host birthday parties. Tee It Up Indoors, where golf meets excitement. Contact us today and swing into action. We're back here live at Earl's here on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. It's a newest edition of the Coach Harry Show. Brendan Riley being joined by the head coach Steve Harrison and forward Yuri Pastuka. And Yuri, you've been here a lot longer than us uh, with this with this organization. Um, so uh, no, but good good to have you up here. It's always good to uh, have uh, have the veterans come up here because you know a lot of, a lot of experience, a lot of story here. And so uh, no, but great to have you up here um, and have you here. For Depends the first time. stories. <laughs> <laughs> we go back a long way, actually. Oh, the, yeah. my, the, my last year I coached there, he he, uh, he he was in Berlin at the time, so we played against each other. And uh, I wasn't playing, obviously I coached, but uh, uh, I knew he was a good player back then, and uh, I, he's just improving. And uh, uh, as I said, it's it's nice to have him on my side this year. Ended up, ended up picking up a, uh, a championship against him, right? Uh, uh, we don't want to bring that up. Uh, that's a, <laughs> that's, that's right. a sore subject uh, with, with Sally and him. And we, we, I throw that card out every once in a while when I got him to give him a dig, but I don't like to say it too often, right? <laughs> I'll tell you, though, it was, uh, that, that series was, uh, was uh, and for, on my end, obviously, uh, happy I won, but it, it was a great series. I mean, I mean great hockey. Uh, fans in both arenas loved it. Uh, a, a little like when we played Columbus here that weekend there where, you know, fans were just like, God, that's great hockey. And, and, and it was great hockey that, that, you know, those five games that we played and uh, every game was close. Uh, well, I shouldn't say that. The one game they, they beat us up pretty good there the, in Berlin. But uh, for the most part, it was, it, was, it was just a great hockey series. And uh, uh, as I said, for me, fortunately, Things went my way, and unfortunately for them, but uh, great, great series. Well, and it'll go your way on Saturday night as well. You guys pick up a, uh, a dominant 6-2 victory there over the uh, Mississippi Sea Wolves to finish off a good weekend. That Mississippi team have been giving you guys problems uh, throughout the year so far. They're the only team with a, uh, with a winning record uh, against you guys here this season. Every, every other team either 500 at the worst or, mm -hmm. or better, but uh, they, they, they were missing a few guys. They're missing Yanni. They're also missing Sam Turner as well. And, you know, two of, uh, two of their top point producers and it ended up, uh, ended up hurting them there. And it definitely showed there throughout the course of the 60 minutes. I, I liked it. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say probably for 45 minutes, uh, I thought we played really well. Uh, uh, and, 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 you know, I, you made a comment that, you know, they, they got a better record than us against us right now. And I, I think they caught us at the right time, too. Uh, uh, he, the other night there we had a, two, a week, two weeks ago, I guess, we had a, not our full team, but pretty much our team. And uh, we went in there and, and played pretty well against them and kind of dominated them, even with the guys that they're missing. So uh, sometimes that payback is, 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 is a lot of fun when you have a chance for a payback. But... Uh, no, I, I thought for 45 minutes we came out, we played very, very well, and, and uh, uh, I, I think in the third period when it was 6-0, I think we we just wanted to, I don't know if we wanted to get out or not, but we, we kind of took our foot off the gas a little bit, but uh, uh, in, in general for that game there, uh, uh, pretty satisfying night. And it was, and it started there, and it started on the shorthand. Uh, you know, they, they had had success against your uh, penalty kill yep. throughout the season, throughout the first seven matchups, but there, uh, you know, you guys able to catch uh, catch them sleeping a little bit, and it looked like a uh, former picked it up in the corner, and he delivered a pass right through the middle of the zone that got all the way to Gus, and then boom, Gus was there in on a, on a breakaway, with, and Boots joined him as well. Right. Yeah, no, we, we, we changed some things up. Uh, we're starting to use maybe some little different combinations up front, and uh, uh, just a good play, good heads up play, and uh, uh, kind of caught them maybe sleeping a little bit, not know, realizing that uh, 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 
uh, our lineup's a little different than what they're used to, and, and so uh, uh, we kind of caught them off guard there and uh, got a great opportunity and uh, Gus put it away. Third shorthanded goal this year for your side. That uh, You take the one nothing lead there, that can take a little bit of the wind out of their sails. They have the opportunity there on the power play yeah. and also gets the crowd back into it as well. Well, I just thought we played sound hockey. Uh, every line was playing well. Uh, I think we had the puck a lot. We had a lot of possession time, and I, I just like the way we played. Uh, uh, the, the defense were moving the puck. Uh, uh, I, I, the first 45 minutes, I don't know if I could really walk in and say, geez, I, I don't like this or I don't like that. And, uh, as I said, it was, uh, from my standpoint, we took a huge step Saturday night uh, for the first 45 minutes. And it ended up being you, Yuri, making it a 2-0 game. Uh, you know, a, a good a good set in the zone. Peter was able to make his way down behind the net and, and deliver a beautiful feed to you there uh, there on the far side. Yes, it was. Uh, well, it was supposed to be goal the moment before that when I <laughs> lost the puck. <laughs> but uh, uh, we won't say that. But yeah. Uh, yeah. But luckily, somehow we get it to Hansi. Hansi passed it to Peter, and Peter. I just saw like eye contact with him and. He just feed me, and I just close my eyes and just shoot at the net. Close, and close your eyes. Luckily, luckily went in. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you close your eyes. Yeah, all you have to do is hit the net, and and uh, uh, gr great play by everybody. And and and, and that, that that's what that line does. And as I said, they move the puck around really well. And uh, a lot of times in those situations, it, it looks like an easy goal, but. It, it's the play the way they set it up and and you know like even the goal that he scored in the empty net it, 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 it looks like an easy play but somebody has to make a great play and we made a couple great plays and, and it, it doesn't matter you got to be in the right position to get that shot off and then he was in the right position and then you would take that two nothing lead and take that there into the into the first intermission and then from there you know it's a two nothing game a little bit tighter than than what it was there on Friday night, but a team that, you know, can score quick and score quickly, and you guys need to come out with uh, some resolve and be able to put their, you know, another good 20 minutes there in the middle frame. Great, great. Another great period for us. Uh, we came out, uh, again, I thought we, uh, I, I don't know if I want to use the dominate, but 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 we outplayed them. And, and uh, I, I don't know if there was any part of that game where I was sitting back going, oh boy, or, you know, we got to hold on here or anything like that. I, I thought we were pretty confident that uh, the way we were playing, that, that, that we were in control, and it was just a matter of how we were going to finish it off. And for 45 minutes, as I said, the first two periods were, were I, I thought, were really good. When you go in, it was like 6 nothing at, at the end of two periods against a good hockey team. Uh, you're playing pretty well. And, and someone said, well, they're missing this guy or that guy. But uh, we were missing a lot of guys, and they would never beat us 6 nothing after two periods. So uh, we, we, we took it to them, and, and they got a lot of pride. And they got, still got a lot of good hockey players there. Uh, uh, and, and so, as I said, I, I just I was tickled pink after uh, 40 minutes. And uh, in that second, you guys got another odd man opportunity. It seemed like that was – there's multiple of those. I mean, Yuri, you scored on one there on Friday, but then on Saturday, Roman and, and Gus, they're in on a on a two-on-one, a beautiful find. But what, what leads to that? Why why did you guys be able to have so many odd man opportunities like that? Well, th 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 these guys are going to tell me that it's because their skill level. I'm going to tell them it's because they play in the right position. And and, uh, and maybe a little bit of together, uh, uh, maybe it's – they're playing the system that we're supposed to be playing, but then uh, I'm pretty fortunate to be standing behind a bench with a, a, a pretty highly skilled team. And, and so I, th I just think that it's that combination of both. Uh, uh, we're turning pucks over because we're in the right position, and then when we do turn a puck over, uh, we got the skill to know what to do with it. And it ended up resulting there. You guys take that 6 nothing. You get two goals in 38 seconds there. Another odd man opportunity. You caught them in the midst of a change. It was this time... Jan and, uh, and Peter, they were in uh, two on uh, two on one, and, and it just continued to roll there. And, and you take that six nothing lead, you take that to the third period. And um, can you expect a, a little bit of a letdown when you have a six nothing lead like that, or, or what do you say? What do you say there to try to keep it going? Well, I, I think you kind of expect to have a bit of a lull, but that's not what you want. Um, and, and the goal there by. Uh, uh, at the end there, I, I was yelling at Peter, at uh, Sally to get going. I've never seen a guy go from blue line almost 15 feet inside. I, like, I almost caught him. He was going so slow. But he, he, he set the play up so well, uh, I, 
I think everybody, you know, when you have a breakaway, I think everybody thinks you're going to shoot, and, and uh, everybody went over to him, and he passed it over, and, and, and uh, Panny put the puck in, and uh, great play. Uh, I, I, when he came off the ice, I was like, you better at score, because you had a breakaway and didn't keep your feet going, so, but no, great play, but yeah, there's a, there, there's a it, it's human nature, you're going in against a good team, you're winning 6 nothing, not not to, you know, to let down, and uh, as I said, I think we had a little let down. We didn't play bad, but we didn't keep the pedal down as hard as we should have. And uh, uh, we eased off, and we talked about it after the game. Uh, we, we knew it. The guys knew it that we, we, we took it off a little bit there. But uh, for, for the most part, again, uh, if you look at the big picture, it was, a, it was a pretty good night for us. And a pretty good night and a pretty good weekend, getting all six points uh, there against Baton Rouge and against Mississippi. And uh, so now your team, you know, Comfortably in second right now in the Continental Division. Port here on there, the weekend off. Um, so they got there. They got a little rest over the weekend, but now you guys, uh, now you get ready to uh, to hit the road, and, and you're seeing this Baton Rouge team for the next six out of eight coming up. Yeah, it's going to be, uh, uh, and that's going to be a challenge. Uh, when you play a team so many times, it doesn't matter who it is. Even when we played uh, uh, Columbus, there, we, we I think we seen we like we saw them every second game there for around Christmas time, and. Uh, it, it, it's a challenge to play the same team because it gets into be a situation where it's like a playoff series, and uh, uh, and I know they're they're starting to up and come, but uh, again, it's just hard to uh, play that team. There's a lot of animosity after the first couple games sometimes, and uh, so we're we're going to have to make sure that we're we're focused and ready, and uh, uh, we'll come out every game and, and and play the way we can, and uh, uh, keep keep leading this team to where you know as I said we talked about this last week there uh, 20 games left and now we're down to 18 I guess and uh, we don't want to take we don't want to take a step back we want to keep going forward it doesn't matter who we're playing we got to keep taking a step forward and we'll get into that here as the night continues to progress we're here live at Earl's here in Winston Salem got about 29 minutes left in our program here this evening we'll take a timeout and come back with more here on the other side of this timeout here on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB when it comes to performance, speed matters, just like on the ice. Introducing Same Day Dental Crowns right here at Twin Oaks Dentistry. With cutting edge technology, we craft crowns on site, eliminating the need for temporary. As proud sponsors of the Carolina Thunderbirds, we understand the need for top notch performance. We're more than just dental care. We're your partners in achieving your best smile. Twin Oaks Dentistry. We're taking. Finish strong. Start here. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist. For over 85 years, Mustin and Crutchfield has been more than just a local market. We've been a proud part of North Carolina's heritage. When our founders started in 1938, they sourced meats from local farmers and groceries from small companies. Finding a way to stay competitive in this market has been a challenge through the years. Luckily, there are a lot of entrepreneurs, and now we have close to 50 local vendors that we feature. We're proud to partner with the Carolina Thunderbirds as a local sponsor, celebrating community values both on and off the ice. Mustin and Crutchfield, your hometown local grocer. Mabel Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pinebrook Bar and Grill, relax by our pool and cabana, and gear up at the Pro Shop while sharpening your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green, and play around on our 18 Hall Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. You can find out more at MapleChaseCC.com. That's MapleChaseCC.com.
past weekend. Um, but for you, Yuri, you know, another year here in Carolina, you, a place you've really started to make home and, and a place that you've played now for quite a while. Uh, what is it about this place that, that you love and that keeps you here? Uh, I don't know. It's I mean, I love Winston. It's a beautiful city. The fans are amazing here. The lifestyle, I love it. I just found my wife here, so... The, the, I'm the boss is here tonight, okay, and <laughs> the a wonderful here. girl, I've met them, yeah, and, and uh, he's very lucky, and uh, he's got a great home life, and as I said, he loves Winston-Salem, so um, uh, he, he's, he, he's really put his best foot forward here in, in Winston-Salem, and as I said, uh, he's got a great home life, and uh, it, it shows how mature he is when uh, uh, we're talking to him and uh, being a locker room guy. What, what brought you here in the first place? <laughs> what, what, what got you down here to Carolina in the first place? Well, after the, after the Berlin, there was a draft, and I was picked up by Watertown, and actually Andre Nietzsche, he traded me down here. And I was put in a fat field for a little bit, but that didn't work out, so I end up down here. And I'm down here, and it's worked out pretty well. You right now sitting at... 298 career points uh, you're coming up there quickly not sure not sure if you knew that or, or if you had an idea on I that don't, I don't really pay attention to the stats so I, that's not bad <laughs> I guess that's my pretty good yeah. well, yeah, yeah, yeah. anytime you've played a long time and at a level that he plays at uh, the, 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 there's there's only a few guys that can do that and, and, and he's done it uh, and, and, he, and people don't realize that that, that it's a great game, but there, there, there's a price to pay, and and uh, he he loves the game, and and and, and he's he's played it at this level, and, and, and he's prepar he's prepared for it all the time. And uh, uh, I talked to a, a couple coaches, and I knew him as I said a long time ago, but n never coaching him. Uh, a couple guys told me that uh, I, I'm going to like him uh, not as just as a hockey player but as a person but uh, uh, a guy that I can rely on and, and, and that's what he's done here and uh, uh, as I said he, he's a big part of our hockey team. Yuri what's it been like playing for uh, playing for coach I think I've asked now the uh, the last two to come <laughs> on here but uh, what's it like playing for coach Harry? You're still going to be on the power play if you can say the wrong thing but we'll get okay. a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> that from from the guys and that's really important and especially in this league on this level and uh, you know he pushed the guys when they have to be pushed and he's being all easy on them when he's supposed to and that's you know we like to like a players to be treated like that and yeah you know been here for a while you've had multiple coaches but the one kind of constant has been this this fan base and, 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 and they they, they do so much. They take you guys in, but they're always there every Friday, Saturday night. I mean, the place is always jumping. How, how what, what does it feel like when you step out there on the ice? We all do it for so long, and just see everyone there in that rink cheering for you guys. It's always a pleasure to play here in Winston. You know, the the fans they're amazing. They always cheer for you. They they give you the extra extra push to do the extra step. You know, work a little bit harder. And you know, how I said, it's a pleasure to play here in Winston. And, it, and it's worked out pretty well. I mean, a very successful career, and now, um, you know, you were, you were a part of that team last year, and now there's 18 games left to go here in, in the regular season, and it's time to tune things up here going forward and, and, and get going here. But uh, what, what would it mean for you? You are a part of that first championship team, but for you, what, what would that mean for you to have another deep, successful playoff run? Well, it's, of course, you know, there is uh, no other way than just achieve the playoffs, and we – aiming for the championship and uh, when we get like in the playoffs every little mistake is going to count so we need to get prepared for it less mistakes we're going to do it's going to get us further so we need to work on that and we'll see how it goes well our team uh, th th this team here is, 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 when I came in here this year it, 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 it's it's not built as a rebuild it was built to 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 get somewhere where, and we've talked about this uh, numerous times, uh, first of all, to, to, to be a good team, to, to get in the playoffs, obviously, but uh, the, the, our goal is, is, is to go as far as we can go and, and, uh, and prepare ourselves. And uh, every kid wakes up, 
every guy that plays hockey, plays football, plays whatever sport, uh, you always want to be the last team standing. And, and But it, it's how you prepare to get there, and it's the journey that you take. And uh, that, that's what I've tried to stress to the guys is, is uh, we all know where we want to be. It, it's just a matter of are we going to put the journey together and go there and be the strongest we can be and, and, and whatever happens at the end, if we're in that position, I believe in my heart and I, and I, and I believe in these guys that uh, when it's all said and done, uh, we're going to be pretty happy. And, and, but, but it's that journey. It, it's not just the, the journey. It's, it, it's their friendship. It, it's, it's how they stick together. Uh, I, I, this team here is, is really close on the road. Uh, you're on the bus with us. Uh, uh, it, 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 it's a very tight-knit team. And, and as I said, that, that it's that journey to get there, and uh, uh, that's what we're all shooting for. How, how has this year been for you, this locker room, these guys? How has it been for you, for someone that has seen so many teams throughout your career? I mean, this team has a really big potential. We have a lot of skilled guys, great guys. The locker room, the boys being really tight, being great, having a lot of fun. How we coach said earlier, we have, like, no issues with the road games because, you know, it's always fun. We make it fun, so that's how the way roll and like go farthest we, we can. The, the one thing that, that everybody knows, and, 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 and I think everyone's finding out what their role is, is and what's their role going to be in, in two or three weeks. Uh, and we're starting to prepare to that, where uh, each one's going to help. And, and uh, uh, it's not going to be, well, geez, I'm not on the power play or this. And it's going to be, and, and then the guys who are on the power play or the guys who are, are, are playing them more minutes or whatever, and it's, it's going to be their responsibility to take the ball and run with it. And so uh, uh, that's where we're getting down to. We're getting down to where, um, uh, and I'm just giving you an example, if he plays 20 minutes one night then, then, and somebody else has only plays 10, he's got to take the ball for that 20 minutes and, and produce. And, and, and uh, 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 the guy who's playing 10 minutes, he's got to produce for that 10 minutes. So it, it, it's, everyone's going to have a role and everyone's got that role. And uh, uh, if we do that, uh, as I said, that journey is going to be a lot of fun. Well, only 18 games remain coming up here in the, uh, in the regular season. Three and three coming up Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 8.30 on Thursday and Friday, then 8 o'clock on Saturday, Eastern time, be 7.30 oh, yeah. and 7 for us down in Biloxi. But should be fun, the first ever trip to Baton Rouge. We'll talk about that here coming up on the other side of this time out. Also got some questions from the fans here coming in just a little bit. But we got a little bit more to go here on the Coach Harry Show here live from Earl's here in Winston-Salem. We're back after this here on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. Hey there, Triad Thunderbirds fans. Introducing Tee It Up Indoors, your ultimate golfing destination in Greensboro. With our cutting-edge golf simulators, you can tee off on world-class courses, no matter the weather. We're not just a golf facility. We're your partner in having a fantastic time. From golf lessons to corporate events, we've got it all covered. Plus, we even host birthday parties. Tee It Up Indoors, where golf meets excitement. Contact us today and swing into action. When it comes to performance, speed matters, just like on the ice. Introducing Same Day Dental Crowns right here at Twin Oaks Dentistry. With cutting edge technology, we craft crowns on site, eliminating the need for temporary. As proud sponsors of the Carolina Thunderbirds, we understand the need for top notch performance. We're more than just dental care. We're your partners in achieving your best smile. Twin Oaks Dentistry, we're taking Here at Comtech, we think it shouldn't cost a fortune to have peace of mind. That's why we bring you the latest in smart home protection and home monitoring at prices you can afford. Already paying for home monitoring? We can be it. Give us a call today or visit us at ctpower.com. That's ctpower.com. Comtech, your one stop for security, fire, cameras, and more. Flow Garage app helps you keep up with your vehicles from anywhere. Flow customers can request service appointments, receive text and video updates, view sales and service history, receive recall notifications, and even get purchase offers via Flow Offer to Purchase. Download the app today. 
Riddle Tractor has been selling and servicing tractors, mowers, and more for over 43 years. We stock over 50,000 parts and we service what we sell. Visit us at RiddleTractor.com. That's RiddleTractor.com. Equipping those who get the job done. Back here live at Earl's here on the Coach Harry Show is Brendan Riley being joined by the head coach Steve Harrison. As always, Yuri Pestuka joining us here on Tuesday evening. Uh, you know, short turnaround, hop on the bus tomorrow, and then uh, and then down in Baton Rouge coming up here. Before we get into the weekend, though, we do have some we do have some questions, and it's for it's for both of you guys from the fans here tonight. So second week in a row. After I got a, questions. Yeah, okay. after after a few. Normally, I don't get any questions. Yeah. It's always for you guys, <laughs> but I'm getting a question tonight. Um, so, Coach, we'll start with you. Uh, is there any offensive ch chances that happen on Saturday night that, um, you know, might not have capitalized on? In front of the net a lot there on Saturday, you know, I had good opportunities, put up six goals or any others that, you know, I might have missed throughout the night there. I don't, there, there was probably some times where we, we, we probably had more, you know, we should have had more opportunities. Uh, the, the, uh, I like the way we're turning the puck over, uh, but again, we 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 we've, we've got to be more. Uh, I talked to one line there quite a bit about uh, shooting the puck more, um, uh, but again, for the most part, uh, I think we capitalized on our chances when we had the chances. Uh, we don't score as much as as maybe other teams because, as I said, I think we like to uh, be too pretty sometimes and. Um, He's someone over here who's laughing because uh, that that might be the one line that does that too much, but but sometimes you 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 take the good with the bad and 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 I look at the other situation with them with these guys especially is is the amount of time that when we have the puck if we have the puck they don't and 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 again uh, someone keeps harping on them and and and, and uh, all of a sudden we're scoring more uh, you know shoot the puck shoot the puck so. Uh, we, we've had some chances. We should have more chances, obviously. But uh, as I said, for the most part, uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. Yuri, for you, uh, who on the team would you say is your is your best friend? Everyone. Everyone. Yeah. Good answer. Good, Good answer. answer. Good answer. Great answer. All Good. right, now, on the other side, this has been asked the past few weeks. It's been a repeating <laughs> question. Um, who on the team would you not want to room with? Not one of them snap. <laughs> uh, we're four for four. Yeah. yeah it's four for four. Yeah. He snores a lot. <laughs> oh, I got to change the rooming list now. Remind me that. I got to change it for tomorrow now. <laughs> uh, now, now who, who have you known the longest on this team? Hansi. Hansi. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We played together in Berlin and journey goes since then been like eight years eight eight years now did you know him before you didn't know him yes we actually played together in juniors in junior but yeah. one season yeah so what, what, know, what, yeah. what's it been like being able to play with him for so long it's being like twins on the ice sometimes you know like i know what he's gonna do that's why it's easy for us to play with sam as peter you know we we read each other's like minds like you know, expect what I ex I know what to expect from them, and I'm usually waiting for the pass, and they luckily pass me, and we shoot and we score. <laughs> Close your eyes too, right? Yeah, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> What's it like off the ice? Do you have to take care of them sometimes? No. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's a joke between us. Uh, yeah. It's Long story, right? <laughs> Independent boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, uh, one more here from the crowd. Uh, is there what, what's the hardest part about playing for Harry? You've had so many coaches here in Carolina with all different coaches and styles that you know, you know, you can take some from all of them that you like, don't like, you know, necessarily. But what what, what do you see the hardest part is about playing playing for a guy who wants so much out of his team? Well, I don't really have a, anything to say about this. Pleasure to play, play for the coach Harry, and you know, we just. He, 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 he's, he, and I, I think everybody has maybe something, but but uh, he, he's the type of player, and and when 
we talked early in the summer there when I first got here, and, and, and they want to win, and him and Hansi and Panny and, that, and, and Boots when he was here and Schnappi was here at the same time, they've all bought in, and, and, and uh, they, they, they've all bought in uh, to, to, to get to where we want to get to, and, and that's, that's a huge part, and uh, I said we, uh, the, nobody wants to have more fun than I do, and, and so we, we try to have a fun atmosphere here, but we also want to work, and, and uh, the, these guys have bought into it, and I give them a lot of credit, and uh, uh, that's why those guys are the leaders right now, and, and, and they're, they're helping out, and uh, uh, they're, the, they're the guys pushing the bus right now. And it's now led up to 18 games remaining here in this in this regular season, and you know, tough, tough to believe it feels like kind of at some point, it was almost yesterday, it was late October, season was getting rolling, and now and now here you go, the, the final month and a half stretch run of this season. Well, it, it, and the, these 18 games are going to go fast, too. We have 12 or 13 games in this month in March. I mean, February is almost over, but I think we have 13 games coming up here. We play uh, uh, every weekend and, and uh, three times one weekend, so... Uh, the, the, it, it's it's going to go quick. Uh, the, this whole year has gone quick, but but it's it's going to go fast, and uh, 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 so we, we that's why we've started preparing ourselves now. Because if, if you wait for the last week or so, uh, you, you're going to run out of time. So uh, it's it's time for us to to to, to, to get her going. And uh, uh, as I said, uh, before you know it, we're going to be in the playoffs, and we have to be ready. And now it's turned out you got a three and three this week then you get a three and three next weekend as well with the yep. with a road one on friday and yep. then two at home on saturday so uh you know not not really much time for rest here going forward a lot of miles coming up there's still another trip down to baton rouge another trip down to to biloxi there's a three and three with blue ridge up in whitville in yep. there as well and then there's only eight more home games remaining here uh this season but um but now it, it, it's kind of a, a little bit of white knuckle time, and now it's time to, as we ta as we talked about on the pregame show, as well as uh, back all the way here in December, it's time yeah. to start putting that roof on that house. Well, yeah, and and and, and but we, we guys are going to have to learn that uh, uh, you know on a day like today when uh, it's not very much nice or very not nice to be outside that uh, you got to go home and have a nap. You got to take care of yourself because uh, when all of a sudden you get too tired and you get to a, a, at the end of the uh, uh, you burn the candle at both ends, I guess, if you want to tell it by, you know, playing hard and, 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 and practicing and, and, and traveling. Uh, it, it does wear on you. And I, I notice it myself right now. Uh, uh, I've had a couple naps in the old office here lately <laughs> myself. So, uh, but it just, there, it, it does take a toll at this time of year. And we got to make sure that uh, uh, you're getting your rest, you're, get, you're eating right. And uh, as I said, it goes so fast that it, if you do run out of gas, it, it takes you too long to get going. So th th there's a lot of things that, in, that come into play to make sure that uh, come April that uh, uh, we're, we're fresh, we're, we're, we feel good about ourselves, and, and uh, uh, we're ready to go. Yuri, how would you say that the competitiveness of this league has either improved or, you know, receded a little bit here over, over the past few years and even from last year to this year? Uh, I think back in the time it was a little bit harder to... It was a little bit bigger quality of the game, but the quality is still there. We have a lot of skilled players, you know, like they know how to play the game, and and uh, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I, well, I I think the skill and and, the, 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 and I hate to keep going back to that Berlin days, but uh, <laughs> I, I think the skill has really improved. Uh, obviously, the, the 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 game has got faster. I, I think the quality of, of play here this year is is uh, is very good. I mean, ob obviously you've got your uh, top maybe four or five teams in our in our league, and, and and maybe are a step ahead of other teams. But even when we've played Whitville lately, who, who if you look at the standings are down a little bit, but we've had great games against them. So, uh, are they as skilled as, as some of the other teams? No. But uh, again, if uh, if you're not prepared to to, to to play and battle against those teams, uh, 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 it's going to come back and bite you. So uh, again, is there is there some higher echelon teams and all that? But look, every league has that. Uh, you look at the National Hockey League. Uh, uh, the San Jose Sharks have uh, uh, have hardly got any wins. Uh, so uh, and then you look at Boston Bruins and and, and all the other teams. So there, there's always a discrepancy. But I, I think overall the the skill is, is the skill is way better than it was even three or four years ago. Uh, and, and again.
again, every year you get certain teams, and uh, like you know, uh, uh, there's there's a couple tiers in our league, but again, it, it's uh, it's very competitive. It, and it has been, and it's ended up making for uh, quality hockey, fun hockey throughout the first 30, 38 games of the season so far. And uh, but now you know, get Baton Rouge for a three and three. You know, always tough seeing a team three times in a row. But yeah. just what, what's that message to your team? You know, as the, as the weekend progresses. Well, we're. We, we want to send a message on Thursday night. Like, uh, we're ready for Friday, but uh, we want to send a message for on. Uh, and, and I talked about this the other day too, uh, Friday night. That when, when you play a team for the first time, you, you, you wanna you wanna tell them how we're going to play. And, and uh, uh, you know, on Friday or Thursday night, uh, they're going to say, "Oh, oh, here, here we come again." And uh, so we're going to set. Uh, we're hopefully we can set the tempo that uh, uh, they know what to, to expect from us. And, and uh, hopefully it's too much for them. And, and that's what we're going to have to do and, and, and push them against the wall. And, and hopefully we can come out with the uh, points every night. 8.30 on Thursday, 8.30 on Friday, 8 o'clock on Saturday, all those times. Eastern pregame coverage will start 30 minutes beforehand on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. We've got to run to our final timeout of the evening. We'll wrap things up on the other side of this here on the Coach Harry Show here live from Earl's back after this on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. I want Hui to live a long, happy life. I give him supplements to take care of his joints. He's on preventatives to keep the fleas and ticks away. It's the same with my Subaru Outback. It takes care of us every day and when we go on adventures. We get our Outback serviced by the experts at Flow Subaru of Winston-Salem. I love my Subaru and I know it will live a long and happy life if I treat it right, just like Hui. Welcome to Martinsville. Martinsville isn't your average everyday racetrack. Far from it. It's truly one of a kind. The speed, the shape, the history, the hospitality, and heck, even the hot dogs. A one of a kind weekend at the short track of NASCAR with trucks on Friday, Xfinity on Saturday, and Cup Series on Sunday. It's one event too amazing to miss. NASCAR weekend at Martinsville Speedway. Get your tickets now at martinsvillespeedway.com. Finish strong. Start here. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist. Once upon a time, not so far away, two heroes found the secret to a perfect game day. They had heard of a baker, one with big heart. They were thrilled he had the answer. Ava's Cupcakes is where he's set to start. From cakes to cookies, cupcakes, and more, we've got flavors that'll score and score. So the Thunderbirds cheered, ready to tell all. Ava's Cupcakes is the sweetest. Bakery to call. We're back here at Earl's wrapping up another good Tuesday night here on the Coach Harry Show here on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. Brendan Riley, great to be joined by you, you Coach, and Yuri. Thanks so much for, uh, for, for being on here tonight. Um, you know, getting ready to wrap things up, three and three coming up this weekend on the road. Just any uh, any closing comments before we have to get out of here this evening? Well, first of all, a great crowd here tonight, and uh, great Earls, again, is always a very hospitable, but a great crowd here tonight, just as normal. And, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting on the bus tomorrow night. I know people probably wonder, like, are you crazy? And maybe I am a little bit, but uh, I'm looking forward to the weekend, uh, to, to, to get away maybe and, and, and uh, uh, see how we, how we are. And... Uh, uh, as I said, uh, sometimes the road trips are always fun. Uh, teams come together, and uh, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Here, anything you want to say before we have to get out of here? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's a man of few words, oh, yeah. but when he does speak, he, he's, he's very knowledgeable. And uh, as I said, uh, it's, it's great to have you here tonight. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm probably going to give you the needle tomorrow about today. But uh, no, a great job today. Of course, but, uh, thank you for having me. Oh. Thank you. It was yeah. a pleasure. Guys. But, uh,
No, it's great to see the, his wife here tonight and uh, 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 them together here. So, but uh, as I said, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to this weekend and uh, uh, a lot of great things coming from us. And uh, so I, I, I can't wait. 8.30 on Thursday, 8.30 on Friday, 8 o'clock on Saturday. All those times, Eastern Sir Carolina and Baton Rouge for the 3-3 three and three coming up at the Raising Canes River Center. Guys, thank you so much for coming on here tonight. Big thank Thanks you to right. Earls. Thank you guys thank for you. coming as well here tonight. That'll do it for this edition of the Coach Harry Show. We'll be back on uh, next week over at Dave & Buster's. And then uh, come on back for uh, Thursday evening, Carolina and Baton Rouge. That does it for the Coach Harry Show here on Thunderbirds TV and WTOB.